as you can see around my garden I've got some walls there we go this curves around and obviously the lawnmower doesn't let me get too close into it to cut all this stuff back so um, the product I'm going to be reviewing today is a grass trimmer or strimmer depending where you come from I guess so I've also got the pond out the front which is round and that all needs cutting back I'll show you that in a minute and here we have the Murray 18 volt trimmer it's got the, um, as you can see there, the Briggs & Stratton lithium-ion system in there, battery pack. Um, that's the same that powered the lawnmower, so I can actually interchange the batteries with it. Runs for 30 minutes, a coverage of up to 200 metres, job intensity medium, well, that wasn't too heavy duty to me. It's got a pivoting head, which means you can do trimming and lawn edging as well. Uh, so, let's have a play with that. Product's got a five year warranty and a three year on the battery system. About £129 from Amazon. I think if you buy just the handle without the battery, that drops down to £69. Yeah, let's open the box and have a little look. Okay, let's have a little look in here then. See what we've got. Again, this looks like this is the uh, battery. Yep, okay, so let's again get that on charge in a minute. So we've got the UK plug and the uh, UK plug and the Euro plug. And that's the charger unit. Looks good. Looks like a protective cover. The battery itself handle some manuals that I'll read through and the actual head cord there this looks quite useful looks like it's got a spare little cord in there as well that comes with it and so that's where the battery goes okay so let me start to put this together then so we're just taking the battery out of the box, here it is, again, Prigg and Stratton, nice one Buster, he likes to say hello does Buster. Uh, again it's got the uh, little digital readout if I press this, I don't know if I can get that or not, that tells me that's 74% charged already. So let's take that and plug that all in and get, and get that charging. There's a grumpy Buster, he's just been told off, he's now sitting in the corner just looking at the wall. <laughs> just make me laugh. Okay, I've just plugged the base station in. Uh, little lights come on. Little USB port there at the front. I suppose useful if you want to charge your phone up or something if you've lost your plug. Let's just slide the battery in, which is over here. So again, relatively straightforward. Slide it in with a click. And the green light starts to flash so you know it's charging it up. So while that's charging, to get 100 percent even though it came with 70 odd percent let's get up to 100 and um, let's get back outside and start building the trimmer itself so one of the first things to fit is the um, trimmer guard which is this piece here it looks relatively simple there's this four phillips crosshead screws so you are going to need a screwdriver <laughs> to take these out and uh, to tighten that up and put that on it only goes on one way due to the shape so I take the screws out it can only fit on one way so I'm just going to do that now uh, just be careful there's a, a cutter here uh, make sure you keep that covered while you're doing this because that's actually quite sharp you've got to take that off once uh, it's been assembled though okay so let me just uh, do that now okay just putting the last screw in now relatively easy task put a nose on that's those four screws done up I think I can now be careful here and look to take this bit of tape off. Yeah, okay. And then as you can see there, that actually is quite a sharp cutter there. So just be careful once you have taken out. It's going to basically stop this from getting too long and trim it back. So um, yeah, just be careful of that. That's a very sharp blade there. Okay, now I've just got to put this handle on and we should be almost ready to go. The last thing to do is just put this handle on that simply just tightens up and untightens in case you want to just basically choose the angle you know change the angle of this you can do so we'll just tighten that up there for the time being that's that on place this thing is so light by the way i mean easy to move around it it, 
it feels nice but it's good that it's it's light I mean it's well made but it seems really light to use so uh, yeah it should be interesting but this I think that unlocks allows you to extend it lock it again so I've got it to the right height for you to work at um, to make sure it's comfortable so you can adjust that to suit your height make sure it's uh, nice and comfortable when in use okay see how the battery's getting on shall we so again you can just check the charge on this by pressing the button on the back that's a hundred percent so uh, good stuff ready to go 100% charged battery here basically just click it in the back and then that's clicked neatly into place I think that's uh, ready to go it's got a safety clutch at the top I'm just show you that you push that forward then pull that trigger up so forward simple right let's give it a little go shall we see what it does one thing I suggest before you do use one of these things is you do get yourself a pair of these. A bit of safety goggles. Uh, I know you never look your best when you're wearing these things, but if you do get any bits of stonework or anything that flips up in your eye, then these are going to stop all that from happening and uh, save you a little visit to A&E. So uh, yeah, just make sure you put some safety goggles on before you start. <laughs> Okay, so I've just finished doing the whole garden. Uh, walls around there, bottom of these posts. The pond, the front walls as well. And let's have a little look, see how we're doing on battery. 55% left, so I've used half the power. We're doing quite a bit of uh, trimming there, so that's lasting really quite well. Good news. So, a bit of a con conclusion. It's uh, lightweight, as you can see, easy to use easy to adjust um, I haven't used the lawn edgy yet because my, all my edges are quite overdrawn, overgrown at the moment I need to trim those back first before this would have any effect on my lawn edges so a job to do for me first but I will then once I've done that trial it out but I mean uh, no nice piece of kit very easy to use um, yeah I'd recommend it Another feature of this uh, strimmer is the, uh, the lawn edger and how to get into that sort of mode if you like is there's a little uh, button, foot button there you press you just drop it right back down it's sort of level press that button at the top and then you turn it 90 degrees and then you've got that ready as a, a lawn edger once you've done that, so I'll just uh, quickly show that, show you that again. So if you press the button, lock that back out. Press that, that goes back up. That's you in streaming mode. So press, drop it down. Press the button, turn it 90 degrees. And there you go. Really simple to get into that sort of mode. So I'm going to give this a little go, run up and down here just to see if we can edge this bit of lawn and see how it works out. Obviously, um, again, before you do any trimming, you can't see my face, but please make sure you've got some safety goggles on. The chances are that something could come up off a pathway or a stone from the lawn. Just make sure that you've got your eyes protected when you're doing this. Um, the idea, obviously, here is 
to it as near to the edge of the lawn as possible to edge of the, where the brick is without taking too much lawn. Um, obviously we've got some rollers here as a, as a guide to keep things sort of moving smoothly. But um, you just got to sort of take your time, go back slowly and, um, and just keep it as straight as you possibly can. So let's uh, give a little go, see how this works out. As you can see, that's left a pretty tidy edge. Quite happy with that. Again, you've got to be sort of patient with this, just take your time. You get it as accurate as you can, but I'm really happy with how that's done that. That's done a real good job. So I'm going to get a bit of a close-up. Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with that. 